Guatemala, Central America, June 18, 2024. The National Coordinator for Disaster Reduction, or CONRAD, announced that in the last 24 hours there were 52 rain-related incidents recorded throughout Guatemala. These include fallen trees, landslides, flooding, subsidence, crack formation, structural collapse and mud flows. The incident affected 357,716 people in the cities of Quetzaltenango, Quiche, Retalaleu, Sacatepeques, San Marcos, Santa Rosa, Sololor, Sucatepeques, Alta Vera Paz, Guatemala, Chicamula, El Progreso, Huehuetenango, Petén and Esquintla. <laughs> Among these events, the most prominent was the landslide that occurred at kilometer 27.4 of California 9 North, a situation that affected approximately 150,000 people. Meanwhile, at kilometer 18 of the Los Olamos sector, Villa Canales, Guatemala, a structural collapse occurred which affected at least 75,000 people. Regarding flooding, it occurred in the settlements of Eben Eza and San Jose, in Palin, Esquintla, in the villages of Lagunitas, El Naranjo and Buen Samaritano. Then in La Libertad Petén and in the La Roquela sector, the Caballo Blanco area and the village of Biloma, in Champerico, Retalaleu. Steffi Barrera, spokesperson for the entity, reported that the departments most affected by the state of emergency during the 2024 rainy season that has just begun are Alta Verapaz, Guatemala, Sucatepeques and Esquintla. As shown, the system continuously coordinates interagency actions to respond to each recorded incident. He also emphasized that the public should remain informed through official sources, prepare their own family response plan, check the condition of vehicles before leaving and drive carefully. Official figures show that, in general, there were 374 incidents resulting in 1,055 people at risk, 1,395,357 people affected, 1,528 people affected, 4,916 people evacuated, 637,393 people treated and 165 people protected, and 5 people also died. In southern Guatemala, local authorities announced that, as a measure to avoid flooding in the region, they are talking with authorities from the National Electrification Institute to reduce the amount of water from the Duran Maranal or hydroelectric plant, in order to avoid increasing the flow of the Micotoya River. Currently the low pressure circulation in southern Guatemala yet is starting to increase in speed so that in the next few hours you will start to feel the wind with the influx of rain which will be more pronounced in the afternoon and more. Low pressure reaches the peak of its maximum circulation before making landfall in southern Guatemala. Maximum wind gusts are estimated at around 40 km per hour, with a possible peak intensity of 70 km per hour.
es el deslave que se vive acá en el kilómetro 34 ruta al pacífico ya que ni vehículos ni due to the heavy rain recorded the ministry of transportation indicated that there were four points of road collapse located on the route to the pacific ocean between kilometers 14 and 18. Videos circulating on social media showed Palin Esquintler crane workers helping a car that was dragged at kilometer 44 of Palin Esquintler. Apart from that, a motorbike rider was swept away by the flood currents, and his colleagues helped him. A large landslide blocked the Cito Zarco route in the La Calera sector, Zunil jurisdiction, Quetzaltenango. Several motorists who were stranded in this place started working and asked other motorists for support and tried to open up space to pass. After heavy rain caused rivers to overflow the old highway connecting Palin to Esquintla, this left traffic paralyzed throughout the night. As a result, the road was impassable because it was blocked by rocks, sand and tree trunks scattered on the asphalt. They also reported that heavy transport vehicles were stuck between rocks and sand. The Palin municipal government is carrying out engineering work in the sector to activate the line. Elements of the Central West Regional Rescue Brigade are working at kilometer 75 of route RN14, where a fallen tree was reported blocking the road. Okay, thank you for watching to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will give you the information about the natural disaster around the world every day. This is toy car. This toy car was made of the wood. This is very beautiful. I bought this toy car to my children unique unique toy car antique <laughs>